I love food. Dude, it smells so good. It smells insane. I love painting. And I love hanging out with my friends. Five Texas cities. Ten days. To find the most scrumptious, delicious plates Don't Texas has to offer. Welcome to season one of Idiots. Welcome to the city of Austin, home of the Grand Prix, home of the double-double back-to-back gold medal championship Call of Duty of Optic. Our second home in Texas. We're gonna explore the city for food and only food for day one. Day two, I think that we'll be able to. We'll, we'll try to get a wall in while during our short stay here. Uh, we're gonna check out a lot of food trucks. We're gonna check out some local eats uh, and just really do Austin-centric food here. Discala. A discala is essentially a discala means disco means disc. So picture a walk. Discada means something that was walked. Discada. Mexican meat lovers essentially. They put in a taco, like 19 different, 1900 different flavors. They just are they all the same? Yeah. These are pretty. Yeah, they're all the same. They don't have options. It's just discala. It's just one kind of taco that they do. Taquitos. Yeah, these are pretty adorable. Mmm. This is a perfect little bite, too. Wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. One taco holds all this goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I the sauce came out in one clunk. What are you doing? Guys, you guys gotta look. You see this? This is how you eat these. Jinx. Uh, uh. Should we, um, Get a baked potato. Can we do one and two? Premise here is that they put massive toppings inside a baked potato. Uh, we got the Cajun and we got the fried chicken baked potato. Those are recommended to us from the owner and chef here. So we're gonna kind of go for it. We got anything baked potatoes. Holy shit. And then we got the number one, the Cajun andouille sausage. We got shrimp, we got corn. The, the andouille sauce is really, 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 really slaps. And, the, and what else is there? Chicken? Oh, the fuck. Good? Yeah. What is it, chicken and what else? Chicken and shrimp. And think of how genius this is, because all this provides the sodium for the potato, and it's the potatoes are what's gonna fill you. So like, this is just all just paired really well. Really fucking smart. Everything's bigger in Texas, man. I mean, this is almost like eating like a mashed potato with gravy. We gotta do at least food, three food trucks just to kind of even it out. Uh, can, can we do one original? Yeah. One chili cheese? One sour hot dog, you mean? See, si, see. Si. Okay. One uh, chili cheese and a Sonora dip. t loc stands for uh, Tucson Local. Uh, originally, we come from Tucson, Arizona. Came out to Austin, Texas to start our own business. And, uh, you know, we did find dining for a while and worked at a hotel resort kind of place. And, um, and you know, we developed the skills in the kitchen and front of the house. And we're like, hey, let's start our own business, but let's do street food, you know? And um, let's take street food from Tucson, introduce it somewhere else. Look at this. Look at the variety here. So we got a Bedia one, we got a Sonoran, we got chili cheese, and we got these uh, loaded fries. Pink pickled onions are incredible. Mm, that's very good. Look at this, Austin. Austin. Now look at this. Ready, ready? I like these peppers too. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. There's a lot of flavor going on with each one of these, uh, with each one of these dogs and those uh, fries. It's it's wildly different, which is what makes a place like this that much more special, I think, in my opinion, which is a standout in a, you know, in a food truck paradise here. This is definitely a standout. Mm. Oh my God. You know, I will say something though. Chili cheese dogs are my favorite thing in the world. I make them myself. I'll switch up the hot dogs. I'll sometimes order the Vienna that, that, that uh, Portillo uses. I'll use Oscar Mayer ones just to send me back to my childhood when I, me and my friends used to go yeah. camping. This one fucking slaps. Man, it is 
outstanding. Yo. I think every element of that too, like the chili's good, the sauce, the hot dog is good, the toppings are good. It's like the, the, the onions are cut in such a specific way. It almost looks like crushed ice on it. Mm. And with the cheese. Mm. So good, bro. So, so good. They have a ramen special, limited time only. Yeah. What the fuck did I tell you, yo? This is the candy kettle corn with a uh, with uh, crispy brisket. Never would have thought to put brisket into the kettle corn. Or well, it's not just any regular brisket either. Brisket platter that they only have on uh, during uh, happy hour here, and you can see they served up the fatty part. It's ultra fucking fork tender. Here we go. Brisket ramen bowl here. With our kogarashi seasoning and pickled cabbage. Chicken karage, our Szechuan salt, jalapeno aioli, and a side of coconut rice. Kale salad with our hazelnut vinaigrette, Asian pears. And snap peas with our kimchi emulsion and sriracha powder. The globules of fat going all throughout the broth here. Oh, it's a curry ramen broth. Holy shit. Fire. Match made in heaven, man. Right? Delicious. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. We've oh, got sesame noodles, <laughs> turkey. <laughs> Apricot chutney, more supremes, fried chicken skins and mint, and then fried potatoes. Love it. I love it. <laughs> this is a little over the top. I don't even know where to. Where would you? We got the smoked bavette with a little relish, some shishitos, and some uh, red onions. Wow. Malaysian chicken bosom, pickled daikon, pickled rounds. Right. That works, dude. I think this is all you guys got. So, so, are you sure that's sound. enough? What's up with these burgers? Mm. I'm definitely not a burger guy, but I do appreciate an excellent Don't burger. Yeah. Mike, try this right now. I just grabbed two massive spoons of it, mate. Holy shut the f Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. I can't eat it. Wow. <laughs> this is good. Missed it. Oh, massive. <laughs> is that what it would be? Massive. Mmm. The ginger five spice in there? Oh, and the right. crumble. That ginger reminded me a little bit of that playful curry that we just ate. Yeah. Right? All right, overall, definitely coming back next time I'm in town. I think that that, like, if I go out of my way to mention it in my head that I am gonna come back to this place or any of the places that we've been to, if I'm ever in that town, like, it's, it's a very clear indicator that it's a standout for me, and this is a standout for me, a thousand percent. Especially now that I'm, I'll be able to say, you know what, just maybe give me one burger and a turkey. So fucking good. It is so good. You know, you know who you should look for sponsorship from, Hector? Mm. Like Pepto-Bismol and shit like that. That would be good, actually. Why? Because it's for indigestion of food and the way we're eating. And we just pop open a fucking Pepto before and after dinner. They would love that shit. I think my channel's been starving for something new for a long time, especially now since I'm not doing the vlogging stuff. Um, and I wanted to be, you know, I wanted to do a, a different project that wasn't the vlogging stuff. As much as as, as vlogging has a has a place in, a, in a, on my channel, and I'll continue to do vlogs when uh, when I feel like it's gonna be fun enough. I think, you know, after 13 years of doing YouTube, to finally be able to you know, combine two of my favorite things, graffiti and food with good friends. 
it's, I don't think there's uh, there's anything better. set up walls for us either through taking care of the buffing of the buffing and priming of the wall to leading us in the right direction for paint supplies I think everyone's been really really uh, accommodating to us and very hospitable for sure. very hospitable and I just you know it's, it's one of those things that you know you don't you don't really consider and, and think about and for this trip everyone's been just incredible and that's what made it that's what made this trip what it is I agree. Just meeting some of those locals painting with them interacting with them eating with them After spending an entire day painting and hanging out and experiencing the city we decided to go and have one of the best dinners and we wouldn't find out until after dinner but we wanted to go to a very popular place called Wu Chow. I think Asian food has been around in Austin for a long time. Uh, we particularly had a different type of idea about what we wanted to do. We wanted specifically to be more of a uh, farm to table, farm to walk we call it. Uh, we, we use all organic, never ever beef and organic chickens and ports and we collect our vegetables uh, and produce from, from the farms around. We were trying to bring sort of a modern take on authentic Chinese food that was a little bit more specifically what, what we had an idea to do. Good one, Juan. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, guys. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Thank go, you, go, Hector. Go, go. Thank you, Mike. Now, this is how you uh this is how you end the trip, I think. I think it's a celebratory dinner as much wow. as just uh, a good food. This is I'm not even this is fucking incredible. Chicken and taro egg rolls okay. and the Szechuan chicken. Yeah. Wow. Guys. So much yeah, flavor. Wow. Yeah, this, this is addicting. It just keeps getting better and better. I absolutely love mapo tofu. It's one of my favorite things to eat, favorite things to order whenever I eat Chinese food. So much fucking flavor. The fact that we're having all this Asian food uh, within Texas, it just, it just shows the progress that this state's making, I feel like. Especially in Austin, where we could find traditional Chinese American type foods like like Kung Pao chicken, mapo tofu, the soup dumplings, for instance. Like, you know, I think I think it's kind of dispelling all the food items that people would come to expect when coming to Austin or Texas. These are lion head meatballs. We actually have a guy that lives in Milwaukee yeah. who flies in just for this day. I just cut this up and I was gonna eat it in pieces, but I think that this whole thing needs to be inside me. It's so fucking packed with meatiness, but it's so light. Oh my God. When I when I dip my spoon in there, I tasted like the the soup and the gravy, and the I was gravy, like, "That yeah, is yeah. incredible." I'm saying, right? Now having that piece, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the gravy. Nothing's even happening right now. Everybody's just shutting the fuck up. Hey, have a bite of the meatball. It's it is. This is honestly, I'd say this is one of my favorite food items of Ever. everything that we've eaten so far. I've just never really experienced anything quite like it. Yeah, this is as far as Chinese food goes. It's fantastic. You know, there's a lot of Chinese restaurants in the world, obviously. A lot of them uh, being fast food. Chinese food is typically seen as like fast junk food almost. But this is so fucking good. It is worth sitting down. It's worth taking your time. It's worth exploring the menu. Ooh, it smells so good. Prongs. Oh my god. A couple of these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> couple two tree. What the fuck? Is this another prawn right I'm here? I'm not lying to you. I ate a lot of Chinese food in my life. Never seen pecans utilized like this for a Chinese dish. 
and it absolutely works. It bangs. That's out of control. This is the best shrimp I've ever had. That is the best shrimp I have ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's very fucking good. Wow. Hold on, let me take a photo of it. Stop, stop ruining it. Fuck you. Stop ruining it. Fuck you and your photo. Oh my Lord Jesus. Yep. Wow. So this is an edible taro root nest that's been fried. An edible. We have an assortment of what? both shrimp, scallops, and squid tossed with fresh garlic. What? <laughs> Savor this. <laughs> I would say that we just went through a fucking journey, a Chinese journey of food. I mean, it's just the, the variety of dishes we had, like the variety of ingredients, the variety of sauces and flavors. Like, it's just, it just all played so well together, honestly. It's not like typical Chinese food. Don't ever think that this is fast Chinese food. This is all well thought, well executed. I mean, even these uh, knife cuts, you know, it's a specific cut for a reason. You know, all these sizes are the same. This uh, trapezoid cut of scallions, it's for a purpose. It serves a purpose in everything. So it cooks evenly. You get that bite of flavor. Everything has a purpose for everything. And it's awesome to see it. And it executed so well. Mmm. Retweet. <laughs> I'm done. I don't know what meal would have done it that good or that well, because it was above and beyond the best okay. Chinese food I've ever had, <laughs> the best shrimp I've ever had, um, the best meatballs I've ever had, um, the best uh, tofu I I've ever had. And I am a massive fan of uh, sundubu. The you know sundubu? Yeah, a massive oh, fan. It's gotta be fucking spicy. That's actually impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sundu is a shit. It's my favorite, my, my favorite soup. Yeah, it's a great soup. Followed closely by Supa Tuscana, of course. From Olive from, Garden. From Olive Garden? <laughs> of course. I think everything we had, starting from El Paso up to this point, has been just quite a fucking, it has literally been a journey. Like, we, you know, explored tortillas, we explored Asian cuisine, we explored barbecue. Tex-Mex, Mediterranean, you know, everything from sit down to eating in the car, to eating at the wall. It's a wrap. Unlock the car, dude. I don't have the keys. <laughs>